So I'm going to be giving a tip on how you can create custom ringtones on the iPhone SE 3. Now, whenever I get a new iPhone, this is always one of the first things that I change. And in order to make this happen, you need to download GarageBand. Now, there are other ways to do this, but GarageBand makes it super easy. Plus, it's free to download. You can see I had it pulled up in the App Store. It's literally got over 100,000 positive reviews. Okay, anyway, once you have it downloaded, you just got to, you know, click OK to get to the, basically the home screen on this. And you want to look for the audio recorder option. Now, when you click on audio recorder, there's a little squiggly in the top left-hand corner. Just tap that. And then you're going to see this little loop icon in the right-hand corner. Click that, and then you just need to choose a song that you want to create a ringtone with. Now, I've got a pretty cool tone here that I'm going to hold down on. So what you want to do is hold down on, then you're going to drag it into here. Now, I'm going to hit play so you guys could hear, like, whatever the sound for this. But you could short it, cut it do whatever you want with it, mix it up. And then when you're good to go and you're ready to create this, you know, song as your ringtone, you cl click the little down arrow, then you want to hold down on your, you know, song and you want to click share. Now when you click share, there's going to be an option that says ringtone, just click that. Then I'm just going to name this new because I just created it. Once you name your ringtone, you're going to see an option in the top right-hand corner that says export. Now, if I went a little fast here, just, you know, rewind it a little bit. But after you do this once or twice, it's pretty easy to do. Now, we're going to go into our settings and check our ringtones to make sure that this saves. So let's go there. And the moment of truth. Okay, cool. It's right there. All right. Anyways, guys, like I said, this is always one of the first things I customize when I get a new iPhone and it's pretty easy to do. And GarageBand is just the best way to do it. Okay, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching it. And we'll see y'all in the next video.